Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and today I want to talk a little bit about diversity and censorship. I finally, after 10 tries of hitting the record button, got that out. It wasn't the best, but I got it out. And if I have to stop the record button 10 minutes into another one and delete it, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> so this is hopefully this is the last time I film this. So censorship and diversity it's two things that kind of go hand in hand um right now it's like peanut butter jelly you can't have one without the other the reason why i talk about censorship is the new twitter policy with it just came out i think with the changing of the new ceo um that you're no longer allowed to share media that has a person that you do not have permission to use which we know why it was used. I can't, when I, I say this, like, I I guess I'll be no longer able to take a picture of Joe Biden and say, let's go Brandon as a meme. You can't do that now, apparently. There's a lot to it. Um, this is this is coming, stemming off things like uh, what happened in Waukesha and Kenosha, um, all those big news events um it's it's crazy it's crazy it's really crazy actually i don't know why it's like that you you would figure like these corporations would want you know freedom of speech which at this point that's being interrupted and again it is a corporation they're allowed to make whatever rules they want it's their platform i guess i don't know how it affects freedom of speech per platform basis. I know it's kind of annoying that it's, a lot of stuff is censored, um, but censored in ways that are kind of unfair. Like if you're left-leaning, most likely you're not going to get censored. So you, you can get on Twitter and you can be like, I hate white people. All white people should die in a fire in a lake with oil. And methane. Anyways, anyways, you're allowed to do that on Twitter. You're allowed. It's just one of those things. You could be a racist against white people. That's allowed. That is allowed, apparently. It's still hypocritical. The blue check marks of Twitter is still sorry. It is hypocritical. You can't say that <laughs> you 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 can judge somebody by the color of their skin and turn around and judge people by the color of their skin don't care what color you are it's stupid it's really stupid it just happens all the time it's like like I posted a video the other day like hey this guy posted fuck white people all white people should die it sucks it really sucks it really does you can get on there and call people white supremacists or a nazi not get censored like I said in the last video, those terms get passed around like candy, which I don't think they should be used lightly, but they are. I don't know why. They just are. But if you are right-centered, um, you're most likely that you're going to have your content censored or mod and took a look. And it's not me being a conspiracy nut. It's true. There's You can look it up. You can check it out you, you know i know it's hard for you know a blue check mark or somebody on the left to accept facts but it's true it's not a lie it's it's happening it's happening in this covid world we live in you see that shit on facebook as well like you say something about covid like or the vaccine you usually get a little trigger warning and says something this could be fake news, or you'll get it removed immediately. Uh, especially other things like your political statements. If you say you hate Joe Biden, you know that's not allowed. But if you say fuck Trump, that is allowed. So weird. So such a weird uh, thing. It, it doesn't make sense. It's, I know the internet mostly is left centered. I, I know this. It's fact. Uh, a lot of media outlets, um, CNN, so there's, there's a lot of media outlets that's 
uh, left centered. And I'm not saying it's bad to be left centered. I used to be really, really left centered, like big time. I was a hardcore liberal. Like, you know, I hated Republicans. I wasn't one of those people that hated white people. I wasn't a white guy hating white people and calling pe white people, you know, to die as a white person. Does that make sense? Like, at all? You're probably wondering why I'm talking about this uh, diversity. And I'll get to that. Diversity is kind of, you know, it's important here. It plays an important part of that. Um, good example is... Uh, actually, really good example. Uh, take a look at our media right now. Uh, a movie just came out. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I've heard middling like reviews about it. Uh, the Eternals. And we all know how Marvel movies are. They're pretty successful in the MCU for the most part. And for the most part, there's quite a bit of diversity within uh, the MCU. Um, you know, I, I like it. I think it's fine. But now I think diversity in media is no longer... It's, it's a priority, but it's only a priority as a selling point. You know, a corporation like Marvel and Disney is like, we got to make sure there's diverse cast in this. We have to represent everyone. And something it doesn't really have... To, I mean... That shouldn't be the total like you're not selling the movie to be di from for diversity. You maybe for blue check marks, but you know they're they're gonna be like they're going oh look at the diverse cast. We're not gonna know if it's a good movie or not, or a good show or a good video game. You just got the list of things we need to put in the video game. That way uh, we don't piss a lot of people off. And it's true. I mean it is. It really is. Um, there's a lot of pandering. A lot, especially uh, during Pride Month. Like, you see all these corporations pandering, uh, especially old political people. You, you know, take a look at, uh, you know, current administrations. They used to not be too kind for the LGBTQ community. But now, they sweep that over, under the rug a little bit. And that didn't happen, by the way. It didn't happen. It didn't. It, it totally didn't. They was always good to the LGBT community. They was always great towards uh, black people. No, no, I hate to tell you. I hate to tell you, these corporations and political people only care about one thing. Clicks, money, and power. That's all they care about. If they can get the checklist and make the masses happy, or, you know... You know, people, you know, they want to fill that woke quota, make sure it's the wokest thing it can wokely, wokely be. And they stuttering there. <laughs> it's weird. It's funny. It's really funny. And, I, you know, I, I go back and I look at the Avengers video game that came out last year. And, you know, they're showing off all the characters you played. Didn't, there's like, oh, you play mainly as Kamala Khan. Well, a lot of people didn't really want to play as Kamala Khan. They wanted to play, you know, an Avenger. And they try it, and they force Kamala Khan on you. And, you know, a lot of people were excited about it. You know, I know a couple of people that, you know, say they bought the game just to play as Kamala Khan. They're saying, yeah, but I think, I think it's one of those things where they're trying to be fake woke so they can get laid. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. You know, I play the Avengers game, and don't get me wrong, the, the campaign was decent. Um, it was actually really decent. Um, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, it was actually decent enough, like, um, for the most part. I didn't like Kamala Khan. I thought she was an annoying character. Um, I think they overuse Kamala Khan for the most part. Like, I think they overuse it and may, like, they force her on you. And I know, again, you know why that was, that decision was made. Um, and it's not about women. It's, it's a checklist, a woke checklist. 
It wasn't to benefit women or POCs, anything like that. It was just to be, you know, to make sure they had that quota. Uh, do we have a diverse character so we don't piss anybody off? Now, there's nothing wrong with a little kid or somebody that really likes Kamala Khan. Like, but did, you didn't hear anybody asking for it. Nobody asked for Kamala Khan. Like, gamers anyways. And we, we're not, they're no longer dedicating stuff to gamers. Like, they're not making games for gamers. They're making games for media. The media, you know, especially the woke media like Kotaku, Polygon. Which I don't know if Polygon is still around. I haven't heard anything from Polygon in a long time. So I don't know... If that is done, which Polygon was kind of stupid. Kotaku got really stupid, really, in my opinion. It just got, like, you, you had these smug dickheads, like, every every video game that came out, any, you know, news of a new game came out, there had to be some kind of woke thing to go with it. And what I mean is, you know, you know Bayonetta, for, for one thing, Bayonetta is considered a pretty awesome character, like, she's a powerful woman that uses her sex appeal, which I know, again, it's going to be like, you're just a white, straight male that just likes women. No, I really like Bayonetta. I really do. I always did. I don't think she's sexy because it's not my body type. I think she's awesome. I love Bayonetta. Like, I even got this little Bayonetta guy. This amiibo. Wait. Yeah, I got the Bayonetta amiibo. I used to have these. <laughs> I used to have uh, the poster, like... When you pre-ordered the original one, it was like this big poster thing, and it had like a bunch of different ones. But um, there's there's two they're at they're adding like diversity in things just for a quota. It's not f beneficial to me as a gamer. I don't care who I play as. I don't. You know, I grown up with T Tomb Raider, grown up with Jill Valentine, Claire Redfield. Uh, begin Bayonetta. Who else have we got? Samus. It's a lot of great female characters. There's a lot. There's not nearly as enough as there should be. Which I think we're going in the right direction and we're going in the wrong direction because it's no longer, it's not really, they're doing it for gamers. They're doing it for pandering. And that's why... What I think, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. Maybe my tangent went on a little too long. Uh, maybe I jumped topic like I always do. I always jump that topic. I always jump the topic. ADHD, ADD. I don't know what I have. I know I'm bipolar, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm being over overly reactive against it. Um, I personally like, and again, you're going to be like, you know, if you're a blue check mark, look at this neck beard incel. Look at this guy. Look at this guy making a video about diversity and censorship. Fuck that guy. Fuck that white guy. That guy should die. That's what it's probably, that's probably be in the comments somewhere. Or, retweeted, you know, something, I don't know. This video will never get seen for the most part. I don't, you know, I don't care one way or the other. I, I'm, I'm having fun kind of talk, talking my, you know, how I feel, like, for once, and not trying to hide it. Um, but, yeah. Guys, uh, let me know. Maybe we can elaborate more in another video. Uh, I'd like to know your thoughts on it. Maybe, we, like, and we can talk about this maybe uh, construct it um i'm trying to get back into streaming again and i kind of want to be open to you guys like more open than i used to be because you, you only see the fake part of somebody's personality on the internet or youtube you never see the actual real version of them sometimes you don't want to see the real version of them and sometimes you just want to see the happy-go-lucky version and pretend that everything's okay I'm going to go ahead and tell you everything's not okay. Especially with me, like mentally. Everything's not okay. I'm a little cuckoo. Uh, a little cuckoo. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> it's just weird. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Feel free to hit that follow button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you soon.